What's up guys, BTBS here, welcome back to another episode of Agrarian Skies. I have been playing around a little bit. Um, it's been quite a while since I recorded the last episode, so uh, I don't know if I promised anything in particular from last episode. Um, I've been doing a shitload of playing around and like looking at what I've got left to do and basically just sort of derping. I can't resist just playing around with the jetpack trying to make like a course for myself where I have to jump in very very specific locations. But that's that's just me. That's one of the ways that I, uh, I like one of the ways I game. Uh, emergent gaming is the thing. That's one of the ways I emergently game. Ding, 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 ding. So, um, let's take a look at some stuff, shall we? We have the um, the Dirty Bastard. I don't know what I named this thing. I like that name. That name works for me. Uh, oh, this is out of saplings again. Wait, no, this thing should never get out of saplings. Interesting. Um, oh, was it running leaves again? It was running leaves, my bad. Let me, uh, let's see, yeah. Don't shear the leaves. You grow that shit. Grow. I command you to grow. Fine, I'll do it myself. Uh, where's my bag? I will put my trousers on. Mm. I'm gonna aggressively wear my trousers at you, trees. That's what I'm wearing my trousers at you. Yeah. There we go. Um, I'll just pull this out. Yeah, that's right. I'm aggressively wearing my trousers and now I'm just pulling things out. Wanna be careful hanging around me. Well, at least, you know, if you get trapped on a small island floating in the sky, then you wanna be careful floating around me. Now, I've, I love having these bound leggings, but they cause ridiculous amounts of lag. And it seems to be just them that causes the problem, because of all the uh, the updates they force. So um, I tend not to wear them very much. If I do wear them, it's like if I need something. But seeing as these farms are staying pretty fucking full, damn! I did not realise I was that full. You running again? Let's leave that off for now and see if we can't get some uh, sapling growth. So, um, I don't know how long ago it was I did this. I had another stack of these on there. These igneous extruders, so 16 blocks higher. And it's running extremely fast. Uh, it says we only have 18 million cobble. That's wrong, right? Yes. Yes, I have two of the septuple cobble. Which is like 9 million right there. And then I've got random bits of other cobble. So I'm... I'm still not close. I'm over halfway there. But just about. So, uh... Let's take a look at something else. What do we got going on here? We have this stuff cooking up. For more silicone. Um, and I think I might just be at about the point where I can make the tetra storage. So let's take a quick look in here, what are we missing? We're missing one giga storage for everything we have. And I have the feeling we have everything we need in there to make it. Uh, in the meantime, I have been working on some other stuff. Uh, let me pull out my book here. Do do do. So, we have a quest ready to complete. Is that the end? Yeah. I finished this one, Apprentice Archmage, which was for handing in one Master Blood Orb. Really? And it gives it back to you. Oh, I was hoping it would give us a Blood Orb bound to someone else. Well, I have nothing to do with this. So, I guess I'll put that away. Ooh! Woohoo! Reward bag! I can't remember the last time I had a reward bag. Yeah! Precision shears. Damn it! 
These things are kind of worthless. They break anything that a stone pick will break, which is basically completely worthless. See what else they do. Uh, if you sneak and right click, it will instantly be broken and placed in your inventory. Eh, that's kind of cool, I suppose. It's better than nothing. Still not very useful, though. Uh, I mean, it depends what else you've got, really. That could be kind of useful. I think the tree farm is going just fine. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's doing alright by me. I will turn off that now. Turn that off now. Okay, so precision shears. Not all that great. Uh, let's see, so. In uh, the end... I need a block of titanium. I've actually been working towards this. Nether redstone, nether uranium. Okay. So, titanium is a pain in the arse to make. So, to make the titanium, uh, basically you have to go through the liquid form at some point. And to make the liquid, you need impure molten titanium and then molten magnesium. That is magnesium. I keep wanting to say manganese. Molten magnesium. So the impure titanium comes from arulite ore, and the uh, magne magnesium. See, did it again. Comes from magnesium dust, which is water and quick lime in a vat. And um, I think I have. Yeah, I've got some arulite ore right here. I wonder how fast arulite ore will smelt. My bet, not very. Uh, no, nowhere near as fast as this quicklime smelted. So, the quicklime is one half of what I need. The other half is water, which I have over here. Donk. And I could do with a bucket. Um, just one will be fine. And then what we need to do is use a vat. Now, we've used these before. Um very briefly. I think we used to use them to create obsidian. And they're, they're kind of strange. They have a max cap of six, mil th six buckets. And this recipe requires four buckets of water, three buckets of quicklime, I think. So, like... Oh. Interesting. Okay, so we're just going to have to... I've don't think I've ever seen a fluid that you can't pull a bucket of. Um, fluid registry. You can put it in pumpkin buckets. Really? How do you make a pumpkin bucket? No? Pumpkin buckets don't exist? Okay. Um, can you put it in the glass stuff? Uh, bottles. Uh, probably not in normal bottles, I would guess. <laughs> no, you can't put it in normal bottles. Uh, let's just see something here. Um, you says you can put it into mariculture bottles made of heat resistant glass. Really? Quick lime and a nugget of aluminium and glass. Bollocks to that, I'm just going to use a fucking uh, fluid duct. <laughs> and a larva. That will do. I'm not fucking around with going through making all this shit. I am far too lazy for that. So, what we're going to do first, uh, before we actually attach this, is we're going to craft a bigger vat. Yay! It's just four vats, but they work together as a single item. And, yeah, you can just walk straight off of it. Okay. <laughs> and then we do this. And then this puts fluid in there. So it tells you uh, how much fluid is in the entire thing as a whole, but when you look at the cap, the cap is only for each one part. Eight. So I think it's four buckets of water to three buckets of quick. 
We shall find out because it is currently crafting. Um, one bucket of water gets used. Okay, so we'll just stick a little bit more water in there and then just uh, turn on the quick. And the quick line will just pump up and up and up until there's more of it than water. That is a really cool, I must say, the vats. I love how they have like all the different levels of render for the amount of fluid in there. It's actually fantastic to see. I don't think I've ever seen anything that renders the fluid quite so precisely. So these we just need to melt down to make the manganese, magnesium, see, I did it again. And then we need the impure molten titanium, which I think we already have. It should be melted by now. I mean, fuck if it's not. It is. Oh, it, it moves. Oh, I have to look at this properly. Oh, oh, I do not like that texture. That texture is far too fast. So while those are melting, we'll just come over here and see how much we've got. Should, uh, did I not leave that on? My bad. I probably won't even need all of this that I've got so far. It does seem a little uh, excessive. But hey. Nah, but hey. Ah, there we go. Two molten titanium from two. So I'm going to need nine of them to make nine ingots. Because it calculates in ingots. So that was two and then another four. I think I just put in there. Sorry, I'm getting all confused. Do 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 another four, six, so eight altogether. So I just need one more. Ah. Do, do, do. You wanna wanna work now? Come on, I know you wanna work now. Come on. And Yeah I sneezed and this man mang magnesium dust appeared. I honestly do not know what's wrong with me, guys. Seriously. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So that's that done. Melt, you bastard. Melt, you fucker. As soon as that melts, I'm pouring myself a block of titanium. Ooh, I wonder what I can do with titanium. Uh, ingots. It looks like mariculture stuff. Honestly, I am so glad there's not a mariculture quest line. At least, if there is, I don't know about it. And I would like to be kept ignorant because I am so not a fan of mariculture. It's like bees from forestry, but worse. Like, it is not as simple to understand and easy to use as bees and that's fucking saying something because bees are only like simple to understand once you've already done them okay a crafting quest oh okay so there was a second quest for crafting all the reactor components but I've already done it sweet I will take another full heart why not ding ding and we got a greater bag Ooh. Uh, for runes of sacrifice. Eh, I'm not actually using runes of sacrifice in my altar, so I'll chuck them away. But that is the industrialist complete. So so far we've knocked out everything that's come up in the end. Uh, now I've been working on Gur with the Fleur, and I need 160 buckets of jelly cryo. I have 60 buckets. I still need another 100 buckets of that shit. Damn. Um, do I have a glacial in here? Right. Because I need... Uh, to put that there. That. Craft snowballs. I need snowballs. Oh. Yeah, you need... Uh, there we go and accept input from there believe it or not I have no snowballs at least not that I can find I know I had a barrel of snowballs at one point 
fuck knows what I did with it. So for now, I'm just gonna make some more snowballs. Um, barrel. I'll just stick a barrel on top of that. And if you're wondering why I need snowballs, you need them to make the cryothium dust and then melt the cryothium dust down into jelly cryothium. Uh, output upwards. Lovely. So that's the cryothium basically taking care of itself for now. Uh, what else are we missing in here? We're missing... Nope, ethanol. Oh, yes, we need to do... I don't think I've actually completed that one. Industrial grafter? Well, I would not have picked that, I can tell you that. Um, no, it doesn't say complete. So we need ethanol. Okay, um, ethanol, very simple. Didn't I set something up behind here? That's a squeezer. I swear I had a fermenter still set up at one point. Did I lose a bunch of world like stuff? I very well might have actually lost something. I've got six buckets of jello in there. Huh. Um, okay, so... Fermenter? Uh, not too hard. Really? I'm out of bloody sturdy casings. Right, make a couple of those. Make two fermenters and make a still. Jesus Christ. I thought I was out of redstone then. That's fucking terrifying. I was gonna say. Don't. Oh. <laughs> well, I only really wanted one still. Um, I'll just use one for now. So, fermenters and stills. Um, very simple machines. We're also going to need some tit uh, and sand to make... Wait, that's not the recipe? Is that... That's it. Fertilizer. Um, actually, this would be much easier if I did this. Um... Okay, recipe, do that, encode, hey molecular assembly chamber, do, 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 do. there you go, you now know how to make fertilizer, and if I could grab a, uh, an export, precision export bus, three of them, and I'm just going to do this, I'm going to do... Fermenter, fermenter, and still there. And I'm just going to hook these two up like this. And what they're going to have exported into them is whatever seeds I have the most of. Pumpkin seeds. You know what? I think this can go. I do not think I need this anymore. I. It's just random seeds. I do not need that. So that's currently turning that off. That was the cyclic assembler that was crafting the seeds. Even though I have a molecular assembly chamber for that. I don't know why I was using the cyclic. Guys, honestly, did I just, like, turn into a fucking moron at some point? And just decide that I was going to do that? Or did I keep the cyclic free... Did I use the cyclic and keep the other stuff free for a reason? Actually, can you use seeds in here? I don't know. Uh, let's see. You also need water in there as well, don't you? Yeah. So, I need a fluid... Da, 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 da. Fluid export bus. Do, 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 do. Two of those. Um, well, I could use a fluid export bus, or I could just take some fluid duct and just hook into this. This is still pumping water. And I actually think that's just going to be an easier way of doing it. Don't need to fuck around with AE. Just straight up move water that already is being pumped. That works for me. I'll just pump that straight into the tops of here. There we go. Um, you will not work with seeds. Okay, I didn't think so. I had to check, though. 
So what we're going to want to export is uh, saplings. Don't really have many saplings. Um, uh, bomb. Let's see what else we can use to make biomass, shall we? You can use all fucking manner of saplings, a billion different saplings, and oh look, more saplings. Well, I never would have guessed. Jesus Christ, isn't there an easy, like a quick way of going through these? Fucking hell, okay, saplings and saplings and saplings. More saplings. I did not know there was this many saplings. Okay, let's go backwards, shall we? Mushrooms, wheat, sugar cane. You know what? We can probably use this stuff from over here, from our farm. We have way too much of this stuff. Like, can you use carrots for that? Um, ba -ba -bam, liquid casting table. No. Okay, so carrots are out. What about potatoes? Potatoes. No. Okay, but we can use wheat. And we don't need the stuff like the amount of this shit we've already got. So, if I tell this to just run this entire farm off a of wheat. Like so. Dun, 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 dun. And I will put this back. And then I'll just um, punch everything. I like how it suddenly gets quiet over at the side there. Should be planting only wheat now. And of course. There's the uh, that stuff back there. Can't remember its name now. Um, the nether wart. Yeah, that's the that's the stuff. So what we're gonna do? Drop down here. We're gonna tell this to import wheat and fertilizer, and it will do so. Lovely. Move stacks at a time. And then we're going to tell this the same thing, fertilizer and wheat. And we actually don't have any, so what we need to do sorry, is move single items and craft. There we go. So it will only move one item at a time, but it will also craft them as it moves. Uh, it will craft the fertilizer as it needs it. And then we just need to give it power. So, let's do Gabler. Oh man. Hmm. Do I want to break these and move them one up? Or do I just want to do something ridiculous like this to give it power? I think I'm just going to go like this. Because I love ugly looking shit. There we go, that's running. And what we need to do next is take the bio mass out of each of those. Uh, I will grab a servo or two. And bonk bonka. Ignore redstone, ignore redstone. They will pump this still full of biomass. Lovely. And then a fluid import bus. From here. And um, always active. So that should take any ethanol we get and import it straight in. So we should be getting ethanol in the system now. Ethanol, 500 buckets. Guys, seriously, I asked you earlier. I asked you if I'd already done this. You didn't respond. You didn't respond, I assumed that was a no. Oh my god, 
Why? Why did you let me do this? I just, I've already done this. Seriously, guys, that is so not cool. You should have said something. And I just wasted so long. Ooh, did not know you could wrench those. Um, there it is, heat vent. Heat vent. Guys, not cool. I know you guys like to fuck with me, but you're, it's your own time you're wasting here. Oh my god. Ugh, right. I checked in there as well. I obviously did not notice. Uh, fluid duct. Give me a bucket of that shit. I will take you. Bunker. I will put you there. No, closer. Oh. I am sorry, guys, but it's your own fault. You should have told me. What do I need? I need my QDS. Uh, ethanol. Uh, select task. Did I just. Oh, good, I didn't. <laughs> Move fluids. And it's done. Oh, I spent all that time fucking around because I didn't know that I already had everything I needed. I am so fucking sorry. Bottle of natural gas. No thanks. I will take a reward bag. Reward bag. Come on. Ah, a rotten heart. <clears throat> I wasn't sure if those still existed. So, two types of heart. Full heart, and then full heart, and the H of the heart is capitalised. Don't eat these ones. Did you just eat a rotten heart? You lost a life. <laughs> yes, evil, evil little trick there. Um, could very easily cause you to kill yourself by accident. Especially if you got it in a bag, like, say, early on. And you're just like, oh, a heart, lovely, I'm going to eat that. And then all of a sudden, you're dead. Right, what else do we have? We have fungus drippings, done, smelly shit, done, strong bones. So it looks like we have three quests left. Which is fluid protein, and that needs 1,600 buckets. Sticky situation, which is honey, which is a hundred buckets, and the liquid DNA, which I'm not actually sure how much of that we really need, uh, because that's not the final quest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly pick up these, because if you uh, remember, I have been sort of collecting that just by proxy because of my farm, and uh, let's see how much liquid meat we get 686 buckets, what is it we needed? a thousand wasn't it? so if it is a thousand um, 1600 okay so we're not quite there yet clearly but uh, we still have 100 buckets in there and of course I have my eggs my chicken eggs. What I've been doing is either spawning them myself or giving them to my autonomous activator to spawn. And then my slaughterhouse here goes to work, kills them off, gives me meat and slime. It just sounds wrong. I don't want slime coming out of my slaughterhouse. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. All of them have fucking effects, don't they? forgot about that. Right, anyway. Um, so, apart from that, fluid protein basically done. We have honey and BNA, which both come from bees. And I know you guys want bees. Uh, I wish I could bloody type. Hey, Tetra Storage Cluster. 
which is used to create the 16 million storage. Of course, I need some more fluke dust. So that's that's something. We have the Tetra Storage Cluster. We've just completed that quest. We're almost done with For the Hoarding. Holy shit. Um, submit. Wow. Claim reward. Hell yes. Ding ding. We have a reward bag. What level is it? It's a greater. It's a shitter. Uh, 16 million storage. I don't even know what to do with that. Wait, shall I just put it in one of these? Uh, see, none of these are actually full by amount. And the only reason I would need that much storage is if I was, say, storing my cobblestone in my AE system instead of in a DSU that's just connected to the AE system. Oh, actually, that reminds me. Thorncraft. Um, at some point they added this. Oh, hello. Matter matters. A thousand ma- I did not know there was more quests. Ooh. This. Um, magical Ascentia. You basically need to hand in a stack or two stacks of various Ascentia vials. And if you don't want to know what the Ascentia is, look away now. If you do want to know, it is that one, that one, that one, that one. And two stacks of that one. And I found that out basically by picking, uh, like, looking at all my things, if they were roughly the right colour. I took a, um, a bottle of them out, a vial, and tried to submit it. If it worked, it was right. So, manual submit. I just, I ground all of that off camera. And here's another... Oh, ding ding. Ooh, ooh, epic bag. Epic bag. Do, 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 do. What do we get? We got a hungry chest. Really? It's not exactly epic. <laughs> I take it back. I love the hungry chest. Man, if you're hungry, do you want some pizza? Oh my god, that's actually the eating noise. Dude, you're a pig. And I'm just gonna pick you up. Get it? Because I used a pickaxe. I mean, you're cool, but you ain't no luggage. Um, so let's take a look. Did that unlock anything else? It did not. Okay. So we have three quests left in here. Where's the cobblestone quest gone? Triple. Where's my cobblestone? WHAT HAPPENED TO MY COBBLESTONE QUEST?! Where the fuck is the quest that requires the 43 million cobblestone? Is it... Is it gone? Has... Has that quest been taken out? Like, for real? The only quest I see is triple compressed. Is it moved? Is it in bragging rights? Oh, thank fuck for that! There is still a quest for it. Jesus fucking Christ! Okay. Um, you know, it, it just occurs to me, I've probably gone over that before and explained that. And, um... I would like to remind you, I said at the beginning of this episode, it's been a while since I've uh, recorded any of this. So cut me some slack. Okay? Good. I'm glad you guys are so forgiving. A less forgiving audience would lynch me for the, the mistakes I've been making today. Fucking hell. Okay, um, what's this? Interesting. Archmage Blood Orb. That thing's a fucker. I need to summon a demon for that. Okay, so, for the hoarding has matter madness. Ma need matter balls. I think you make these in a quantum compressor? Uh, let me just... Not applied in logistics. Um, I know the thing you use. Any condenser, that's the guy. 
and it condenses random matter, doesn't it? Uh, condenser. Do that. Stick it there for a second. Yeah, yeah. And you put a storage device in there. Uh, stir. Storage device. Just give me one of these. I assume we have what we need to craft one of those. Dum dum dum. Lovely. You put a storage device in there, and then you feed it matter. I'm not sure if it matters. If it matters. If uh, I'm not sure if it matters what you feed it, but you can feed it matter. Um. Wait, can you just put stuff in manually? Delete via shift or space clicking. Enable disables. Oh, okay, so there's, you can just use it as a deleter. Output. Condense into matter balls. Condense into singularities. So, if I need a thousand matter balls, I need 256,000 items. Which, funnily enough, I have in Cobbery Stone more than enough. I need half of this sextuple compressed cobblestone to make a thousand matter balls. Half of one level of cobblestone that I am like way beyond. It's not connecting. Hmm. I wonder... Okay, let, let's do something cool here. Let's do... Uh... Nope. Uh, export. Let's do a precision export bus and a level emitter for items. And simply because we have way more than we are ever going to use cobblestone. And in fact, just very quickly, let me hit the double B. Let me grab a few stacks of cobblestone. And uh, put this in there. Condense into matter balls. And if I put enough in there to get a matter ball, lovely. And then I just need um, import bus. Precision import bus. So we're going to do hook a precision import bus up there. We're going to hook a precision export bus there, a level emitter next to that, and we're going to say uh, 1000 um, emit when levels are above or equal to the limit, active without signal, and we're going to tell this thing to export cobble stacks at a time. And it's going to create matter balls, and this is going to keep searching when levels are above or equal to the limit. So when we have a thousand matter balls or more, which we really shouldn't get more, this will emit a signal which will turn this off because it's only active with no signal. So that is a sneaky bastard way of very quickly getting yourself a thousand matter balls and if we check in here already we should have yeah 25 27 28 so it's gonna run pretty smoothly that's actually not too bad considering I just came up with it on the fly and you know what I think I have made up for my derp earlier where I spent all that time with the ethanol and didn't need it so, I'm going to end this episode here. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you don't hate, <laughs> hate me too much. Um, yeah, come back next episode. And we'll probably be starting bees. Ugh. Just saying it makes me feel so dirty. Right, yeah, yeah, come back next time. We'll probably be starting bees. I know you guys want it. Peace out.